Hi guys, Sean from Optics Warehouse here today. Today we're going to be learning the main differences about the Pulsar Thermal Monocular range. So just to clear a couple of things up to begin with, thermal images will detect heat and they can be used in the day. Uh, another quick easy fact is the front lens will determine the optical magnification of the unit and also the detection range. So a 23 will have less detection range and magnification than a 38. So if we get onto the Pulsar thermal images, we have to begin with the Pulsar quantum light. So the quantum light is available in the XQ23 and the XQ30. The XQ23 will retail at £1,200 and the XQ30 will retail at £1,300. Both will come with a 384 by 288 sensor. The 23 will offer a detection range of 800 meters and the 30 would offer a detection range of 900 meters. The identification range of both units is usually around half of this, so 400 for 23 and 450 for 900. What the Quantum Light doesn't have, where we will visit in the Helion series later, is the stream vision capability and it also doesn't come with an integral battery pack, but external battery packs are available via Pulsar. In summary, the Quantum Light series are absolutely brilliant for someone who wants a thermal imager to reduce the amount of time out on the hill and wants to clearly identify animals out to 300 to 400 meters away. So moving on to the Helion series, you have the Helion XQ and the XP. Both the Helion XQ and XP offer the latest stream vision capability and also offer an integral battery pack which makes the unit much more slimline but also improves battery performance. Stream vision quickly to summarise it is this Wi-Fi capability of linking your phone or your tablet to the thermal imager. So it means when you and your friend go out, uh, your friend isn't just stood there looking at the sky. He can actually see on his phone what you're looking at through the thermal imager, which is quite a cool feature. So the Helion is available in the XQ and the XP. The XQ offers a 384288 sensor and the XP offers a 640x480 sensor. This basically means the 640x480, which retails in the XP range from 3000 to about 3700, will give you much better clarity and resolution. The XQ models retail from 1900 to around 2500. Uh, the main difference is also is you will get a better field of view with an XP thermal imager and you'll also be able to interchange the front lenses. So you could buy an XP28, but at an additional cost, buy an XP50 lens, which you'll be able to interchange and use the 28 for short range scanning with a wider field of view. And the 50 then could be switched on for longer range scanning and more magnification. So just to clarify the models up in the Helium range, you have in the XQ models, the 19, the 38, and the 50. In the XP models, you have the 28, the 38, and the 50. So with detection ranges, the XQ19 gives you the detection range of 700 meters, and the 28 will give you the detection range of 1,000 meters. In both XQ38 and XP38, you will have a 1,350 detection range, and on the XQ50 and XP50, you have a detection range of 1,800 meters. If you have an unlimited budget, the XP is brilliant and offers that wow factor. But for most people, the XQ series is absolutely fine and will get the job done. And many people will be absolutely chuffed with this. So just really to summarize the thermal monoculars up, we have the quantum light, which is the entry level budget thermal imager. For most people, this unit would be absolutely perfect. If you're using it, for scanning, looking for rabbits, any type of quarry, and you want to clearly identify an animal out to 300 to 400 yards, then this will do this absolutely fine. You will not get the same clarity and resolution as you will get in the XQ or even the XP, but it will allow you to simply cut out the amount of time you spend walking around the field and not being successful. Between the Helions, it's really down to actual price point. So if you're willing to spend three and a half thousand on the XP series, you will not be disappointed. This resolution and clarity is absolutely brilliant. But for most people, the XQ will be absolutely fine and offer great clarity, resolution, and will 
also not break the bank too much. I know that thermal images can be a tricky thing, so I hope this video has helped you. If you want any further information, please don't hesitate to give us a call, comment below. Uh, also, you can alternatively email us and be happy to help. Remember guys, give us a like and subscribe to the channel and we keep the videos coming. This is Sean from Optics Warehouse, clocking off.